Today I'm going to show you a badass way to remove color casts in Photoshop. Awesome, you guys are going to love this episode. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Find me on Twitter at AKNacer. We've got a really great episode today. Last week we had a complimentary color contest and this was one of our winners, Nicholas, and we're editing his image today. He's got red and green as complimentary colors and that's exactly what we wanted. But there's a really cool lesson that can be learned here on how to completely get rid of a color cast in your images. Now, especially if like in today's image where it makes up basically the entire image, this is something that's really, really hard to do. But I'm gonna show you guys some really interesting, very cool ways to do it that you've never ever seen before. Let's get into it. All right, so here's our image by Nicholas and we can see we've got green on this side and red on this side, complementary colors. Now, looking at this image, I, I like this image. It's not a, t a question of do I like it or not. It's just a great teaching point showing you guys how you can remove an entire color cast. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually get rid of this entire green while leaving the red and then we're gonna bring this green back to skin tone color, which is like, it's gonna be very hard, but we're gonna do it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Well, I'm gonna grab my background layer. I'm gonna hit Command J on the background layer. It's gonna duplicate that. Now, what we're gonna do is use inverse colors to actually cancel out color casts, which is um, basically like if you have one color and then you add the opposite, you bring them together, you're gonna cancel out a color cast. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command I and that's going to invert my layer. It's gonna invert the colors on the layer. Now we're gonna change this from normal down here to color and we can see what we've got is basically the invert of those colors, which still looks pretty cool. Now we need an even mixture between one color and the other color they need to meet in the middle, right? So we're gonna set our opacity on this layer to 50%. So you can hit V and the number five, it's gonna set your opacity to 50%. So you can see we've gotten much more grayscale now. Still not perfect, but much more grayscale. But we've canceled out our reds as well. And we don't wanna do that, right? Because I said we were gonna leave them in. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna double click here on this layer and we're gonna go into the channel blending this is something I don't do a whole lot, but basically here we can choose which channels that's actually gonna affect. Our red channel, green channel, and our blue channel. And if we say well, I wanna affect the blue and the red channel, but, sorry, blue and the green, but I don't really wanna affect the red channel, we're gonna leave those reds intact there, and then we're gonna change this color over here. So this is actually what we're gonna be doing. And you can even choose to turn those off or not. So a pretty cool way to like just change colors overall and select out um, a different part. Now, because this color was so saturated, this made up basically our entire image, we're just gonna do it again. It didn't get us the exact result we want uh, the first time around because it was like, you know, this color makes up a whole huge part of the image. So we just do the same thing again. Not a big deal, you can keep doing it over and over again. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a stamp visible layer. Shift Option Command E is making a stamp visible layer. I'm gonna hit Command J on that now. So now basically we have a layer here, you can see, it's just like everything you see. Command J on that, and I'm gonna do the same thing, hit Command I again. So we've got our original, the invert, the new version, and then the invert again. Okay, same thing. V and the number five is gonna change your color back to 50%, okay? And now what we're gonna do is change this from normal down here to color. Now it's like, okay, cool. It's doing its job, it's completely black and white. So what we're gonna do again here is double click on here, and I wanna say, don't be visible where my red channel is. And we can just kinda see, you know, changing changing these different things like is this visible where my red channel is visible is it not all right there we go and it's looking pretty good so we can see we're reducing that color cast even more and we've almost got it where we want it to be okay so this is pretty good we've reduced our color cast we've lowered the saturation and everything like that of our image but we can see going from this to that is already pretty good so we've got some cyans here in one side of his face and we've got some like slight reds on the other side of the face. Now remember we want to push this towards the red scale. Now as we push this towards the red scale what it's going to do is it's going to take those cyans and reduce them and increase those reds getting us back to closer to our original image but without the green color cast. So to do that we just opened up a curves adjustment layer. So our adjustment layer will go down to curves. I'm going to grab our red channel and we're just going to drag this up and you're going to see as I do it's going to reduce the cyans that are here and increase the reds that are present there. Now we can also go to our blue channel and drag this down and that's going to help us get on basically the same path. All right, pretty good. So depending on where you push and pull these things, you can play around with green, adding it back or subtracting it out even more. There we go, let's look at that. So depending on where you play with these uh, sliders, you're just gonna get slightly different looks. Like if you want even more red, you can do that too. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
So we're reducing, again, by increasing the reds and decreasing the blues, we are making it shift more towards red and less towards cyan, which is giving us back the original color cast that we wanted, but without the greens. Now we need to figure out a way to select out the skin tone that's left from this image, basically the tones that are not the red, and we need to push those further towards more accurate skin tones. Again, it's not that hard to do. It sounds hard, but it's not that bad. We're gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna go to select, up here to color range, and we're just gonna select the color range that's in a skin. So we'll select right there, and I'll bring this fuzziness up. That's how much basically gets selected from the layers underneath. So we're gonna bring our fuzziness up, and that's gonna turn all these areas into a selection. Notice it's leaving my reds alone. Very cool. Now what we're gonna do is basically load this onto a layer mask. So if you have a selection active, you can click on adjustment layers. We're gonna go up to color balance. There we go. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna load your selection into the layer mask of the color balance layer. So this color balance adjustment layer is only gonna affect the camera left side of his face where that cyan is. And then we can just kind of push these around too. If I wanna pull it towards red, there we go. And skin is orange, right? Like, I, do I look orange to you? I should because that's what color skin is. People just have different variations of red or orange in their skin, so, or sorry, red and yellow in their skin making, making orange. So um, that's basically what you, do, what you wanna do when you're trying to like bring something that's not a neutral skin tone, just put, like push it to orange and red and yellow work together. We're gonna pull a little bit of green out of there. Let's pull a little bit more yellow. And then pretty soon we're looking pretty close to neutral skin tones there in the shadow. So we selected out those problem areas and now we've enhanced those a little bit more. Now let's look at our original. We had a little bit deeper reds here in original. So if you wanna do the same thing the other way around, not that hard again. Just go back, let's create another layer, go to select over here to color range and then we can just select these reds. There we go, on that side of his face. Let's push that up a little bit more. So we're selecting out these reds and then you can again go to color balance there we go, and I can just push them even farther towards red. There we go, and pull them a little bit past magenta. All right, we probably don't need to go that far if we don't, if we don't want to, but there we have our, um, our color cast. Now, it did leave a little bit of cyan here, and the reason it did is because, if you look at this layer mask, we might not have selected, quote unquote, as much as we could have. Uh, basically, you could bring your fuzziness up. So if that's what you're getting, like a little bit of cyan, all you have to do, let's just make those back invisible. We'll load this layer mask as uh, black. So let's click on here, and I'm gonna hit Shift, Delete, and I'm gonna fill that with black, okay? Well, apparently it's gotta be visible. All right, so we'll fill that layer mask with black. Then we're just gonna go back here, go to Select Color Range again, this side, and I'm just gonna bring up my fuzziness a little bit, and you can even use this plus eyedropper. There we go, and that's going to just select out a little bit more. Okay. So we can load that now. I'm gonna hit Command I on that layer mask. We can load that onto that layer mask and that's what's going to cause us a little bit better of a selection. So we just had it basically include more. All right guys, and we have <laughs> completely gotten rid of a color cast in this image, which is awesome. And we brought what was like 100% green skin tone back to a neutral looking skin tone, which is very cool. There are other things you could do to kind of like fix this up and things like that, but Going from this to that is pretty amazing. And we did it using complementary colors and reversing these colors. So we're canceling out colors using their complementary colors then selecting specific color ranges and then changing those as well. Really, really cool stuff. You guys can use this if you have, you know, a, an image where someone's outside and they've got like a weird like neon sign right next to their head and it's casting a bad color on their face or something like that. You can use the same exact technique to cancel out those colors as well. So it has all kinds of really cool applications in normal work, not just when you're trying to do something super fancy like this. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks so much for watching Florin, guys. I really, really appreciate you spending time with me. I'll Florin you later. Bye everyone. Come spend time with me. I'll show you everything I know in Photoshop. You can cut this out because I'm scratching my nose right now. <laughs> For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.